before my uncle is at work and there's not really much to do close by since it's such a rural area. The weather that day is just cold and cloudy. So anyway, one day we go out to a little itty bitty town nearby. It is super cute. The houses and the businesses are all painted in different colors and everything. We park the car and we walk to this museum. It's a museum of something. I can't remember what it was for, but it didn't matter because it turned out to be closed. And it was just then that I noticed that since we entered this little town, we hadn't seen a single person walking or driving. We go back to the car and we keep driving towards this mountain to go and look at some of the nature since everything in the town seemed to be closed. We had just gotten a brand new GPS so I was watching every single move. I remember how fun that was. We make our way we make our way up this one road, taking us up the mountain, and we're enjoying the glimpses of whatever sunlight seems to get through the clouds as it shines down on us and the landscape below. We pass the huge remnants of an old, old building, maybe a church. As we reach the end of the road and we see a sign for a national park, I look down at the GPS since it didn't say that we were coming up to anything, and it certainly did not say a national park, and there's nothing on the GPS. It only showed that we were at the very end of the road. We park the car and we take a look around and we see a couple of old house foundations with signs. I didn't want to stray off too far from the car since we still hadn't seen any people around. But my mom likes to read the historical signs so we go and we check them out. We come to the first foundation and I walk inside of it first. We pose, we take a picture with the camera, and I mention to my mom that it looks a whole lot like a movie that we saw years ago. The movie about the Blair Witch. She laughs. And that was when I noticed it. I tell her to hold on a second we remain quiet. Listen, I said. But there was nothing. We hear absolutely nothing. It's as if the air had been sucked out of the environment. There were no birds. No bugs, no leaves falling from the trees, there was no wind, there was nothing. She shrugged it off and we walked to the next little building that we see. From the sign, we found out that it was an unused mausoleum. I tell my mom that I am super uncomfortable. I want to leave. She agrees and says, yeah, okay. And I think, finally, we go back down that only road and we go back through that ghost town that we had gone through earlier and then onto a more trafficked road with cars. 
brother played one of the national sports in Ireland during his teenage years, and he grabbed his Hurley, an Irish version of a baseball bat, to simplify things. He ran outside with it to find this man at the bottom of our driveway, and he went down to confront him.
in the house. 